What's up guys? Welcome back to channel. Welcome back to another video. I always come to this side because the car looks like a perfectly running and driving car. No rear damage, no front damage, no side damage. Well, at least not on this side. I have this car sitting right in front of my completed E92 M3. I am so blessed to have these two cars side by side. I cannot wait to get this thing on the road. Hopefully in the upcoming video, guys, gonna be trying to disassemble as much things over here as possible. Probably honestly, just primarily the side skirt. Once we get the side skirt off of the car, we can honestly just drive this thing on the highway, drive it on the roads all that good stuff uh, but obviously to get to all that stuff i do want all my airbag stuff working properly so that being said we are heading down to toyota right now um, to pick up two new curtain airbags for this car and then we can finally start assembling the entire roof so you have no longer any of this stuff something i did come back home though i, I went out for a little bit and i forgot to take these two we need to take both these seat buckles to own solutions so let's go ahead and put that inside the car take those to own solutions so we can get them rebuilt because this one's like seized up and then obviously get them both paint match because i do want those to be redone in the same color as the car. I think it's gonna be super sick. I am also working on a custom order for a steering wheel. Again, with some custom details, it's gonna be matching this car. This car is just so beautiful and I have so many plans for this. Don't worry guys, I'm already looking for an exhaust. I'm already looking for a bunch of things to this car. So for those of you guys who have missed a build like the 435, want one that's even better, I mean guys, I'm gonna go full send on this. And yes, your man's looking good today. I got a, I got a fresh new cut. I'm feeling a lot more confident today in today's video. Got, you know, a nicer shirt on and all that good stuff. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. He's not doing too bad today. <laughs> So for those of you guys who are fasting, happy Ramadan. Um, it is the time of the year that we are fasting. Uh, for those of you guys who do fast, for those of you guys who don't, I mean, um, happy uh, Monday. So, <laughs> oh wait, no, it's not getting uploaded Monday. It's getting uploaded Saturday. But yeah, I mean, I'm fasting tomorrow. So you guys will be seeing this. Um, happy Saturday. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go ahead and get those seat buckles down at these solutions. And uh, probably gonna be picking up the current airbags. <laughs> Huh? You're so happy. Guys, we got our airbags. I asked them how much they'll charge for a key. Okay, this is Toyota. Um, I know it's a Supra and all, but they just asked, they just asked for $900 for a key. $715 for the key, but for the key itself without programming, and another $200 for programming. All I'm saying is that just because you guys have a BMW now, it doesn't mean you can tax above BMW. But right after Toyota, guys, we headed down to LD Solutions to drop off the seatbelts. And then actually, before we ended up heading home, I, I stopped by CarMax. I wanted to check out some of their new uh, Nissan Titans. As you guys know, I am looking for possibly a new Nissan Titan because my Nissan Titan is giving me a few little issues. Nothing too crazy, but I mean, something obviously new and more reliable wouldn't hurt. Um, and while we were there, we couldn't help but notice some beautiful cars. So we, take, we decided to check them all out. And this Raptor is actually super sick. But the Titans, that's where it's at. And guys, we are officially back home with the new curtain airbags. We have the headliner just sticking down. I cannot wait to get that fixed. So after heading down to Toyota, guys, I got two new airbags from Toyota. Paid about $340 a pop. Again, online, it's about $450 a pop. So $330 is not bad. Uh, this is actually still pretty expensive for some curtain airbags. Uh, probably the most expensive curtain airbag I've ever purchased for any car, including M3s and M4s, were probably $180 used. Um, so yeah, obviously $330 is a buttload, but um, every super that ever gets in a car accident and ever gets parted out has blown curtain airbags. So you're never gonna be able to find these. So anywho, these curtain airbags it's actually very tiny and uh, I don't it looks like it's held on by clips which is super nice so I wouldn't have to actually do any rivets I don't think I think it's held on by screws and clips which would be so ideal and they're very tiny um, so it shouldn't be much work to get them out that being said again we have two new curtain airbags right there let's go ahead and jump into the interior and uh, start removing some things so to remove the headliner guys normally what you have to do um, is take apart a lot of the things in the back uh, which we're definitely gonna be doing but right now I want to remove everything in the front so uh, the headliner blew out of the pillar we're supposed to remove the pillar anyway but in this case just because this already blew out to make it easier I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the headliner first but then we have to remove the pillar to remove the current airbag all the way 
just because I don't know if you guys can see, but the current airbag follows all the way down here. So no matter what, we have to remove this A pillar. But for now, just so we can pull out this headliner without damaging anything, we're gonna try to get that out first. So we do need to remove the sun visors, the dome lights, uh, the microphones that are on each side. It's kind of crazy. This car has two microphones, one on each side, because most cars only have it on the driver's side. Guys, it was so difficult to remove this headliner just because I didn't know what I was doing. So in this car, to make it easier, you need to actually remove the dome light first and then you could pull the headliner. On BMWs, typically, you're supposed to remove the headliner then pop out uh, the dome light. So anywho, that was different. Everything else is held on by clips. There's literally no screws that hold anything on into the headliner, which is super crazy. But I got the front side down. So now I'm just trying to figure out how to get the rear out. And I'm assuming maybe there is some brackets, some trim pieces somewhere along these lines over here. Uh, because you guys can see the headliner comes all the way back here. Uh, but if I pull down on this, is there a tab holding this on or a screw? Like, what is holding this headliner to this piece? That's my question. Oh, is that a screw? That does seem to be a screw. Okay, so I think there's a screw on each side and then that pulls out the headliner. Finally, we did pop this bad boy out. There was two clips up here, one screw over here, one screw over here. So now that that's out, let's go ahead and try to figure out a way to get this thing out of the car. All right, guys, so without actually messing up the headliner, I don't think there's any way to get this headliner out just because of how massive and wide it is um, without creasing it. I don't want to crease it. Um, I think there is a way to get this thing out by either removing the rear windshield or creasing it through the rear or maybe creasing it through the door. I don't know. I'm not a professional when it comes to stuff like this. I'm actually going to leave it inside the car and just try to get the current airbags out. So I'm going to try to move the headliner to this side of the car, remove that curtain airbag, and then move it to that side of the car and remove this curtain airbag. That's going to be the goal. I hope it's doable. Um, but again, we still have to remove these guys right over here. So there should be a screw holding both of these down on both sides. Um, if not, maybe not even a screw because I mean, this is a Toyota, but typically it's held down by a screw. We'll figure that out in a minute, but then uh, yeah, we're gonna try to move that current airbag on the other side. Yes! Guys, that is what I'm talking about. So thankfully, I'm going to show you guys this in a minute here. This current airbag is held on by either clips or screws. No rivets, thank the Lord. I, I hate riveted um, current airbags because it's such a pain to put back on. This should be just a direct bolt on. So yes, yes guys, that's what I'm talking about. Let me show y'all. These battle scars don't look like the faded. Don't look like they ever gonna change. Guys, like I said, this current airbag is only held on by either screws or clips. So I gotta figure out a way to remove this clip. I'm probably gonna look at the new one and see how that actually gets removed. Uh, but yeah, this is super easy. No rivets holding any of this stuff down. So let's go ahead and try to just take out all these remains and then disconnect it right back over here. And it's super easy to access the disconnect as well. And it's a BMW connector, which I'm super familiar with. So I'm so happy with this. So yeah, guys, this is the before fully installed. There's another screw right back there. In a little bit, you guys about to see this all missing. Guys, I finally got this side out. These clips, like I, I joke with you guys not, these clips are probably the worst things to deal with ever, especially if you don't have the right tool. I bet you guys if you have the right tool for this, I don't know, I'm sure there's some kind of special tool for this. If there's, a, if I had the right tool, this would have been 10 times easier. Long story short, we did finally get the driver's side out. Uh, that was an absolute pain. We got the bolts out and everything. There's just one last bolt right over here. I'm gonna try to get that one out and then we can finally install the driver's airbag. Um, thankfully, the connector on this side is good as well. So let me go ahead and get that last bolt out and then three, two, one. 
And just like that, guys, we finally have the new curtain airbag put back into the car using all the original rivets and the original screws. So that is a super OEM finish. Super happy we finally finished with the driver's side, guys. Now, I haven't even really gotten started on the passenger side because for some reason, I can't even get the first clip out. There's three clips, and it's being an absolute pain in the butt, guys. Wish me luck. Hopefully, we'll finish this in the next hour or two. But uh, yeah, it's time to hop on the other side and try to finish the other side. I'm just gonna show you guys honestly when I get it done because there is no explaining this. Basically, you need to put two small things in there and wedge it apart from each other to release these two clips. Easier said than done. <laughs> it looks, the concept seems very easy, but I think when the, the airbags deploy, it puts tension on this and it bends it a little bit to where it makes it even harder to pull out. So the concept's easy, but to actually do it, kind of difficult. But anyways, I'll let you guys know when I finish that side. I'm just happy we got one side done. It just gives me some hope so I don't give up on the other side. So yeah, in three, two, one. After about six years, 12 minutes, and 32 hours, guys, we finally got the the curtain airbags in the car. Honestly, guys, I posted on Instagram saying I'm probably not gonna get a video out today. I'm sorry for this video being kind of late. I've been working on just getting the headliner down and those airbags out for at least like five or six hours, like realistically in real time. It's just taken so much time. I'm so happy the old airbags are out. That's probably gonna be the toughest thing with this car, honestly, is those airbags and the headliner. Now, we once we get all that stuff back in, the seat buckles, all that stuff gonna be put back in really easy. And the last thing we have to worry about is just that. The side damage car, the rear end's all perfect, the front end's all perfect, it's just the side damage. And honestly, once we get all the airbag stuff situated, this car is gonna be a running drive. We can pretty much go do all the inspections with that side damage, because that side damage will not affect brake and light inspection, that side damage will not affect smog. So, um, yeah, it will look kinda ugly, but at least it's drivable as long as we have zero lights on the dash. Um, it'll it, it'll be good. So anywho, at this point, I think it's time to finally assemble the headliner. I cannot wait to see the whole headliner back in place, looking fresh and everything. Without further ado, guys, I'm just gonna throw it in time lapse mode. have the headliner back in there and I'm happy to say there's no tears or no damage to this headliner whatsoever so we got everything reinstalled we have the seals on every single edge I triple check the connectors for both current airbags because I am never doing that ever again I mean obviously if you end up getting another super which I highly doubt um, I'm, I'll take care of it but if this ever gets totaled out again um, this is probably a job that I'd be like yo yo you guys definitely deserve the money the insurance can take care of this I won't be like yo give me the money and I'll take care of this now nah. They can take care of that. That was, whew, that was some tough stuff. Some of you guys warned me in the last video in the comments saying that you have the only way to remove this headliner is by literally taking out the front windshield. And I was like, I don't think he knows what he's talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it because I need to do it anyways, right? That was actually stupid difficult. But anyways, we got two new curtain airbags in there. We have the headliner back in there, fitted in there, looking so, so, so nice. So at this point, like guys, the interior is pretty much all together. I'm just leaving the edges of everything kind of stripped. Reason being, the frame guy is probably gonna wanna reference this side and look at that side, look back and forth, back and forth, so you can straighten everything else over there. I'm still waiting to get a door. I did get a side skirt on that side. Um, it's coming in the mail, but I need to get a door. The seat buckles are gonna take some time to get here. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and throw back in the driver's seat just because I, I wanna be able to move this car um, if we need to, and even for thumbnails and stuff like that, I wanna be able to move the car. I don't want it to just stay in one spot this entire time. So yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get that driver's seat in there. Guys, there is nothing better than fixing your own car. I mean, this thing looks so, so, so good. I know a lot of people obviously do this stuff for a living, like, you know, getting paid to replace headliners and getting paid to put in curtain airbags. Um, I don't know, I mean, for me, I enjoy doing it if it's my car. I don't know if I get paid for it, is it gonna be the same feeling? But end of the day, like, I know I wanna get it done because like, hey, end of the day, this is my car and I want it to be perfect. 
And so far, guys, we have both seats in the car. Uh, we have the headliner back in there, two curtain airbags in there. I mean, this thing's almost ready to get all the airbag lights cleared. The only other issue I'm assuming we're gonna need is probably the seat belts, of course, but we'll get that when the time comes, guys. Please smash that like button, guys, uh, to support your man. I mean, doing these kind of videos every single day is actually very difficult. It's more of the thing, it's like, of course, it's for you guys, 30-day uploads for you guys, but also to myself, I made a promise to myself, I want my word to be worth something to myself. I want to be able to say, when I say something, I do it. Um, and that's not, again, not only for you guys, but also for myself. So um, I really want to make sure that I do these daily uploads and thank the Lord I finished this before, you know, 130, 140. I'm going to go ahead and include this video right now so I can try to get this out by three. That is the ultimate goal. So again, I'm sorry for it being short, but hopefully the next video will be taking off the side skirt, possibly the door, do some more diagnosing, or maybe even throwing in the seat buckles or possibly getting the 328 back from the body shop and getting some work done on that. And uh, yeah, I think we have one more or two more mods for the M3, so that is coming up as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that is gonna have to conclude the video. I am so exhausted. So again, guys, if you guys can support your boy, please smash the like button for me. And without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.